Today is a day that Nala, my pregnant bangle, gave birth to her babies. Oh, there she goes, guys. You can see she's trying to push these babies out of her belly. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have a little baby. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having an absolutely exciting day today because I definitely know I am because today is a day that Nala, my pregnant bangle, gave birth to her babies. Now in the previous videos, showing her progress, showing her growing belly, we all guessed how many babies she was having and I guessed about one to three and boy was I off. Honestly, I did not think today would be the day. I knew she was going to have her babies this soon but I literally walked into her room and she was mid giving birth. I mean, she was pushing, she was letting on a storm. So before I spoil anything else, let's hop straight into today's video of Nala giving birth. So guys, I came into Nala's room this morning to feed her and check on her and she was scratching the door, which is very unusual for Nala Kitty. But I came in here and look at her. She's positioned as if she's about to give birth. She's been crying and down there is a little bit bloody. I saw little spots of blood on the floor and look at this guys i think she's going to be giving birth today today is the day that nala kitty is giving birth but oh my goodness we need to be the best support we can we need to be there for nala kitty and oh my goodness guys is there a kitten that's coming is she about to give birth nala walked over here guys nala is pushing you can see that her stance is very strange and she was just pushing oh there she goes guys you can see she's trying to push these babies out of her belly. Nala, we're here for you. We're supporting you. Mommy's here and mommy's gonna help you with these little babies. You got it. You're so brave. You got this. Look at you. We're literally sitting on the floor and she is doing her very best, guys. Let's see. Let's see if she pushes again. Oh, I know. I am right here. You are okay. Mommy's here with you. And there she goes again. She's pushing, guys. These babies are going to be coming literally any minute now. I mean, it could take minutes. It could take hours. If you guys ever had an animal in labor, sometimes it takes a very long time. And sometimes it's very, very quick. But you can see she pushed. She was having some contractions. And now... She seems to be done with the contractions. Now they come and they go, but she's definitely going to be having these kittens today. She's definitely going to be pushing in. Oh, she's having them again. So they're closer. These babies must be on the way. Guys, you can see her stomach is literally rock hard. You can see how she's standing very strange. And she is pushing. Oh, look at her. Oh my goodness. We have such a brave kitty. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is insane. You go, girl. We're right here with you. It's all right. It's okay. You might want to lay down. I think that might be a little more comfortable. She's on her side now, guys, and she is pushing. I don't know if you can see it, but it seems to be a sack that is coming out now. She is pushing with all her might, and she's doing an absolutely amazing job. You are such a good mommy kitty, but guys, this is insane she's trying her very hardest she's pushing so so hard and we're here every step of the way holding this little girl petting this little girl and making sure that she feels nice and comfortable nice at home and knows that we are here for her but guys these babies could be coming any minute now she's pushing and she is not giving up i mean i literally look like a disaster right now it's really early in the morning and i was just going around to feed my animals and i walk in and I spot her like this. I mean, I did not think today would be the day, but of course, when I look like this, today is the day. But nothing ever stops here. It's always another crazy day with some crazy animals and some crazy kittens on the way, and she's pushing some more. Are the kittens gonna come? Let's see, let's let's block out that. But guys, do you see that? <gasps> the sack is literally coming out right now. I think I see a kitten. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, it's coming. The kitten is on its way. Guys, do you see? Look at the kitten's face right there. You can literally see the kitten's mouth and the kitten's nose right here. The kitten is coming and we're here helping you. Come on, we got you, girl. We're gonna help you get this kitten out. Guys, look at that. That is absolutely insane. 
The kitten is coming back out and we need to help Nala. And just in case this kitten comes, I'm literally one-handed right now. I don't have any help. So we are going to be Nala's only help right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is the sack of the kitten right there. It is any moment now that she's going to be able to push these babies out. But of course, since Nala is so tiny, of course, this is a very painful process. Pushing these babies out of that little small hole right there. And I know that is very scary to think of, but you are a brave little kitty and you got this. The kitten! is here guys oh my goodness she just pushed the little baby out oh my gosh guys literally in one push she got this little baby out and if you can see right now she is breaking the sack open she's trying to chew the umbilical cord right now but you can see look at that guys we have our first little kitty oh my goodness and guys and there's its first movement oh my goodness and this little brave mama is going to clean this little baby off is going to chew that umbilical cord off but look oh my goodness we have our first little kitty mama kitty is still doing an absolutely amazing job she's cleaning her kitty right here and you can see this little baby is soaking wet from the sack now this little baby comes out in a sack and as soon as it comes out this sack immediately breaks and this little baby takes its first breath of air and oh my goodness we can't even see it that well but look at it i can see the little tail right here oh my goodness guys we have such a good mama Look at her go, she's so brave. Oh my goodness, look at it. <gasps> now you can see we have a better view right here and you can just see how tiny this little baby is right here. And you can see, I think I see its spots and definitely its stripes. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have a little baby. She broke the umbilical cord off. This baby is out. This baby is good to go. And she is just cleaning this baby off. I think this baby is fully cleaned off. And you can see she's trying to reposition herself to lick and clean this baby up. So this baby is able to nurse. Oh my gosh, guys. No, that's its tail. I thought that was its umbilical cord. Now, when she bites the umbilical cord off, this baby will have an umbilical cord on its little belly for about the first couple days, and it will actually fall off itself. So we're going to be able to see that very, very shortly, but we're going to let her do her thing. We're going to let her clean her little baby. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this is real. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. So we got the first kitty out. Mama's doing a great job, and she is pushing again. So the next baby is coming out. Oh, my goodness guys look at this the baby is coming out the sack is literally right here and oh my goodness look at that we have a little kitty head right here oh my gosh and we have the second baby so we're gonna actually move this little baby a little bit so he doesn't land on his head oh my goodness guys look at that the second baby has arrived right here. The first baby is right here. And now we have the second. You can see this little guy is completely out of the sack right here. Now mama has to clean it. You can see he's just taking his first little breaths right there. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at him. Mama, you have to clean him. You got to get him. Is he out completely? Look at him, mama. You got to clean this little baby right here. And there Nala Kitty goes. She's cleaning her second kitty with some assistance right here. Now, at first, she really didn't even notice that the second kitty was there. She was so focused trying to be a good mama to the first little baby right here. And we finally got her to notice this little baby. And oh my goodness, that was his little first cries. Look at her. You're doing so good. Look at this little baby right here. Look at this, guys. We have a mama and her two little babies right here. So she cleaned off this little one right here, and he's still a little wet. But you can see he is drying up, and this mama's doing a great job. And I think she's pushing again because I don't know if you guys can see this. But this little lump right here in her belly, I can literally feel the outline of a kitten right here. So she definitely has some more babies in here. There's definitely more than two babies. There could be about two or three more babies in here because her belly is literally ginormous right here. But look at her. She is so happy. She's content. And if we're really quiet, we can actually hear her purring. So you can hear her purring right there. And she is so happy to be with her little babies right here holding these little babies in her tummy for a little over two months. She is definitely a proud and happy mama. Look at the little baby. Look at these little bodies right here. And oh my goodness, look guys, she's making dough right now. She is so, so happy. And these babies definitely need to start searching for some milk. And that's exactly what this little guy is doing right here. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's crying. He's letting on a storm. He wants some of that milk. Now it's very, very vital that these little kitties get the milk within the first 24 
hours of life because the mom has all of that colostrum in the milk that is going to make these babies strong, happy, and healthy. It's going to give them the good bacteria in their gut to make them grow to be beautiful little bangle babies. Now, we're going to try to help her. We're going to try to get these babies on her nipples right here, but she's going to need some assistance. We're going to give her some time because I think she's going to be pushing out another baby very, very shortly. So we're going to give her some time right here to clean these little babies off and try to see if she will initiate nursing them herself. So guys, Nala Kitty is literally eating the sack. She's breaking the umbilical cord right here and cleaning that third little kitty. But you can see the first little kitty's right here and the second little kitty's right here. But this little guy is latched on. He's drinking some milk. Hopefully this mama's producing some milk. And you can see the second little baby is trying to find that nipple and she's still cleaning the third one. And I definitely feel some more babies. Her stomach is very, very hard. She definitely has some more babies in there. So honestly, who knows how many babies could be left in her stomach. All right, so Mama Kitty and her three little babies are content and happy. You can see she's purring so, so loud and she is ready to take a nice little kitty nap. After having these three little babies right here, you can see they're all latched onto her nipple. They're all nursing on a different nipple right here. So these babies are gonna be nice and strong and healthy. Isn't that right? You, you love your little babies that just came out of the belly. And I think she definitely has another little baby in here. I literally can feel the outline of the other baby. But it could be minutes, two hours until she has the next little baby. So we're going to let this mama nurse these little kitties, rest up. <coughs> Guys, I think the fourth baby is coming. You can see she's pushing and she is trying to get this next little baby out now. I'm not sure if it's gonna come right right now, but she's definitely trying. This baby is definitely moving in her little tummy right here, and she already has the three little stooges right here. Do you love them? Yeah, you love them. You're gonna love the fourth baby so much. And the fourth kitty has finally arrived. Now this one was definitely a lot more complicated than the other ones. This one actually came out tail first, which is very, very bad because of the sack breaks, which is exactly what happened. This baby could actually drown while coming out. But thankfully with a little assistance, and mama doing a great job this baby came out a-okay i mean look at him he's already made his first little cries mama's still cleaning him and she is doing an absolutely amazing job of battling three little kittens right here trying to attack her nipples literally trying to search for milk right here and she is just doing so so great so we're gonna let her do her thing we're gonna let her clean this little baby off and then we're gonna see if she has any more guys the fifth baby is here Guys, she had her fifth baby. So here we have the fifth baby right here. She already chewed the umbilical cord off. You can see the umbilical cord is literally hanging from its belly. Now you're probably wondering why the heck is it literally mushy? Well, it's only mushy because this little baby came out of this little girl's tummy right here. But in a couple hours or maybe in like a day or so, this umbilical cord should dry up and will fall off on its own. Now what you guys must not do if you have little newborn animals that you're either raising or mama is raising is you do not pull the umbilical cord off because i don't know if you guys can see this let's put this kitty back here so mama can clean him the umbilical cord closes the hole up right here now if you were to rip this off you can see this one's already dry so it only took about an hour to dry this umbilical cord up but if you were to pull this off it would ultimately not heal properly and open up its entire stomach and that's exactly what we don't want we want to make sure that this umbilical cord dries up and falls off on its own but look at you you are doing so good and let's feel her belly I don't think I feel any more. It feels a little hard. It is mushy, but it feels a little hard right here. So there could be possibly one more baby left or there could be no babies left. And this is her new little litter of kitties. I mean, look at them. She's cleaning this little guy right here and they are absolutely adorable. So we're gonna let her continue to clean this little baby off and get to nursing this little crew of kitties. So we came back to check on Miss Nala Kitty and the last time we checked on her, she had five little baby kittens. She is one tired mama. She's literally knocked out. And you will not believe what we came back to. We came back to a six kitten, guys. Yes, you heard me correctly. There are six little kitties. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're going to turn the light on. And we are going to see the little pile of kittens, literally a pile of kittens. And you can see, we can spot the new one. The new one is actually one of these spotted ones right here. We only had two spotted ones, and now we have a third. Now let's see if it's this one right here. Oh, yes guys, this one is the one that was just born. And the reason I can tell is because his umbilical cord is not hard yet. You can see it's a little soft. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, let's pick him up. He's not latched on the nipple. But look at this, guys. This little baby 
is just born. You can see his umbilical cord is still soft and we need to get this guy latched on a nipple. I don't think he's been latched on a nipple yet. So we're gonna prop the light up. We're gonna try to get this little baby latched on a nipple because since he was just born, he hasn't been able to get latched on a nipple. We wanna make sure that all of these babies are nursing and since there are six babies, we have to make sure each and every one of them is getting enough milk, enough colostrum, and is going to be strong and happy and healthy. So guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to get this baby latched on a nipple. All right, guys so we're gonna make sure that this little baby latches on now we've made sure that every single baby has latched onto her nipples so we want to make sure that we get this last baby latched on and make sure that he's sucking some milk just because there are so many babies we have to make sure that these babies are going to eat all that they can so let's find the one that just came out and i think it's this one right here his umbilical cord is soft and uh, actually is he latched on guys I don't think he's latched on. You can see this one is latched on right here. This one is latched on right there. But don't think this little baby is latched on. Let's go ahead, feel, see if this little baby's on. And yes, guys, he's not on. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to try to get him latched on to this top nipple. And it might take a couple tries just because they're so squirmy. They don't really know what's going on. They're just freshly born. So we're going to make sure that this baby gets this nipple. And let's see. The way that they can sense these nipples and find them so easily is because they can actually smell the milk secreting out of this nipple right here. Guys, you see this right here? Mama Nala is licking her kitten's bottom right here. Now, this is what she's doing when she's stimulating her baby. She'll lick their bottoms right here so they can pee and they can poop. And you can see it's going to stimulate this little guy. He's probably peeing already, and she's probably trying to make him poop, but she is doing an absolutely amazing job. Now, it's crazy to think that this mama is going to do this to every single kitten. She has six kittens to clean, and oh my goodness, guys, I don't know if you saw that, but this baby's pooping. She's literally eating his poop right now, and that's an excellent mama, doing her job, cleaning her babies, making sure they're going to the bathroom, making sure they're nursing well. And I'm so happy to say that these babies are going to be happy and healthy. So this is the first time that Nala has come out since giving birth to these six beautiful little babies right here. You can see she just wants some love herself. She wants some scratches and she wants some pets. Isn't that right? You want the belly scratches? Oh my goodness, you were such a hardworking girl today. You did an absolutely amazing job and now it's your turn to get all of the love because you're giving all of the kitties the love. But I wanted to show you guys these three little babies. We have three spotted ones and we have three marble little kitties right here. And what's absolutely amazing is these babies are actually born with a full set of nails. So if you take a look right here, you can see that these babies have all of their nails right here on the front and in the back. And you can see already with this little guy that his umbilical cord is dried up already but you can see the umbilical cord is dried up now it's gonna take a couple days to fall off mama's back in here cleaning herself cleaning the babies and she's doing an amazing job with these little guys right here now it's gonna take a couple days for us to know whether we have boys or whether we have girls since they are so underdeveloped right now it's gonna take a little while for these little kitties to grow big and strong but look at them they're absolutely adorable. They're already crawling around. Just amazing. And look at Mama's cleaning them. Oh, my goodness. You're doing so good. Look at you go. And we literally have a pile of kittens right here fighting for the nipple, fighting for milk right here. One is literally hanging on to Nala. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely crazy. She has a lot, a lot of kittens. And the reason she's out on this mat right here is for monitoring purposes. Now, we have a heating pattern right here that's not only keeping the babies warm, but is keeping Mama warm as well. Now, the reason we're monitoring these babies is you can see Nala has a lot, a lot of kittens. Now, of course, even though she's able to have these kittens, doesn't mean it's always good because Mama Nala has eight nipples and she has six kittens. Now with eight nipples and six kittens, that is a lot of mouths to feed and sometimes not all the nipples will produce a lot of milk. So we have to constantly be monitoring Nala, monitoring the kittens, making sure each and every kitten is getting an equal amount of food and you can see there's a lot of commotion, there's a lot going on, but you can also see that these babies have their eyes closed. Now these babies are going to have their eyes closed until they're about a week and a half old and then they'll start opening their eyes and these babies also can't go to the bathroom on their own so you can see that mama is licking down there making sure they poop and they pee properly because these babies cannot go to the bathroom on their own until they're about four weeks old and they can't regulate their body temperature so not only is a heating pad helping regulate their body temperature but being with mama snuggled up in this bunch 
is keeping them warm as well. So these babies are thriving, mama's thriving, everyone is happy and healthy. And guys, that's going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, watching Mama Nala give birth to her beautiful six little babies, we'll give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, comment down below a squad name for these new little baby bangles. And guys, if I like your squad name, I'm gonna shout you out in the next video. Now guys, if you wanna see these babies grow up, you wanna see some more crazy cat videos, well, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel in the link, it's down below.